Hello, hello, and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Today we are taking another look at Hand D. Easy this time. Um, we're going to play through and see if we can get a bit further in the game this time with this slightly faster mode. I have done some practicing on Hand D before this mode. So hopefully we'll be able to do some good. I streamed my practice, so... I uh, kind of worked out it's definitely good to at least get a few robots in. Okay. Now we find the teleporter. I don't quite have enough money for that chest. Okay, it's up here. It's just hitting and avoiding at the beginning. Oh, here we go, okay. One of the best tactics. Let's get this chest. For, oh, that's going to be really good for this character. Other than, obviously, just to keep punching. I actually should have saved a robot there is just to ignore the boss at least for the first few levels until you get to the end until you get to the timer over kill everything else around the area first and then go back for the boss so You have loads of robots and then you can just detonate them. Obviously your robots also do some damage when you use them to heal, so it's worth uh, bearing that in mind. So you can use them also to help damage the um, robot and the stuff around you. Okay, put this up first. Okay. enemies okay up there I see them obviously you can also use your bots as like a tracking device because they kind of fly off a bit like that so you can like use them if you need to if you're not sure where the enemy is they just go randomly if you use them I guess whichever direction you're facing if there's no enemies around because obviously they're a bit confused they don't know what's going on Handy is definitely not one of my favorite characters. Although I prefer him to the minor, I think. You've just got to play him in a very specific way. You've got to get some early robots in because your health regen is pretty appalling. Because you've got the robots for health, so. Definitely I think health shrines on this character are not a thing to go for. Uh, maybe like the first one because that's not very much health. Because it's like in Dota where you want to you be using an ability at the start to get your mana regen going. The same here I'm going to use an ability to get my, uh, to get my health regen going. Because what's the point of having health regen if I'm not using it? I mean that's not quite so... Important as mana, and there obviously there isn't mana in this game, so it's not exactly relevant to Risk of Rain, but still, I should have got some more robots. Right, it's not standing the poison, which is a mistake I normally make. Got a lot of knockback going on there. Well, knockback. Damn, and I died. Well, that was a quick death. Let's go for another round. 
The poison clouds are normally one of the things that hurt me the most. Because I just forget. Don't really look at my character, I'm more looking like around. What's going on around? Who's incoming? What I need to watch out for? What's good or bad around me? So. Let's get this chest. I might as well get this one. Oh, where are you? I might as well get this one. It's nearly no health. And then kill that guy with. So you can do some efficient kills. But really, at the start, you want to save your robots. Your healing bots. Okay, you don't have enough mana for any of them. You don't have a very fast attack speed, and you do, like. Move very slowly forward when you attack. Let's see where the teleporter is before we can really do anything. There wasn't up there. Yeah, that that only works if you actually hit enemies. Okay, so we've got an area to the left. See, it must be up here then, I'd imagine. Two chests there, if we uh, happen to have some extra gold or need to go back this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what's up, up here? Yeah, it's not very often up here. I'm a bit worried about the fact that there's no enemies around here for me to kill and get robots. Okay. I mean, they did spawn soon enough, so I guess I can't complain about that. Let's hit you. Send the timer a tiny bit. Knock back again. Right, let's heal up and also hurt him. Knock him back again. Shouldn't have used both my healing bots there. Okay, it's alright, we got them back again. Definitely a good thing for this character. The uh, timekeeper's secret. Because I imagine you can get. Well, it's really easy to get on low health with this character. There's no... oh, there's no enemies here. Okay. I'll save these robots when it gets to... Uh, nope. About 85. Maybe we'll uh, get all the enemies dead before the teleporter spawns. No! So nearly. If I'd waited with those robots, they could have killed him as he spawned. Oh well, that was just unlucky. Okay, well, at least we get to the next level quick. We didn't really get any items though from that level, apart from the boss item. I guess we did get a robot, so. That is kind of helpful. Is there anything up there? No. Okay. Maybe we can go in that way then. At least not right now. We spawned over to the right, we want to head over this way. Oh, no, I'll press A. Don't have money for either of them. It's two big chests here. And another robot, something to remember. Again, we're a melee character, like with the Acrid. I don't think bots are. Uh, the most useful thing you can ever get. There's also another chest there. Just a useful thing to remember. It also depends how far away the teleporter is. And of course what... Oh, it's my uh, bot is doing the work. Let's see if the teleporter is probably up the top here. 
I'm going to take that risk anyway. It won't be now. Oh, it is. And I have no robots. And let's not stand in this. Oh, great magma well. So it doesn't matter where we go because the magma worm is going to keep chasing us. So let's go and pick up all three of those chests. There's a guy here we can kill. Magma worm, definitely my arch enemy there. Okay, there's some guys down here. Get some money off them. Uh, we don't really care about my robot too much. Okay, so that's quite cool. You can activate your hammer and then mid hammer activate your like fast mode and then it will refresh your fast mode. No, oh, that's not sounding. This. I want to get out of this. Damn the thing. And he wasn't up here, which sucks. But. Okay, we're going to need to use them to heal up. We have enough money now for this chest. Oh, nice. That's really good for endgame. Oh, we need a little bit more gold, right? Where are you going to come up? Oh, we're on the remaining enemies, too. There aren't that many left. Come on. Oh, nice. Do we get any gold from him? Oh, yeah, we got a little bit. Okay, just... Oh, no, that's not so good. One of them is good. Two of them, not so much. Oh, we know where the enemies are. I don't think activating that mid-ladder was necessarily the best tactic I've ever played. Um... I also don't think it's worth going back for the chest now on this point in the game. So we might as well use my health bots now because um, obviously they don't they don't persist between levels, so we might as well uh, finish these guys off as quick as we can and get out of the level. We don't have enough gold oh we do have enough gold for that, I just picked it up. That's why we're out of gold. Where is the last enemy? Over here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Where is the teleporter? Oh, this way. So it is. I remember now. Cool, we got a, bit, a little bit further this time. Let's see. Okay, underwater caverns. Luckily, uh, the janitor, or handy, as he's known, is waterproof. So, I think maybe it's good to walk because you can leave the fire thing on with the uh, the item from the magma worm. So, let's just kill these guys. Yeah, like that. Might as well not keep jumping. So we always come up on the water level from the left, so we're going to start going to the right. right over here. See if the teleporter is down here. Sometimes this door is closed here, so you can't get through. It's not today. We don't have the dice on this playthrough, so we're not going to activate that shrine. We are going to activate this, however, that chest you can't actually activate. It was f a bug that they put in by accident. Alright, before we uh, get the Colossus, we're going to go out here and kill these guys. I'm not too worried about the fact they didn't have any bots when I summoned that, because in this level, the likelihood is that it's going to be somewhere else where you're going to have to fight the boss. So. I assume the Colossus is at the right up the top. Yeah. 
There is an achievement on this for knocking worlds down, um, which are like the spidery things for drowning them. The best bet is to like use your knockback and hit them in here, and when they do that, they drown. Obviously, you want to do it when you haven't got too much damage, but you can still knock them off or juke them off somehow. There's no way we're going to get everyone killed, I think, before the timer is up. So I'm just going to stay here. And I don't know, we might have to do a rotation of any everyone anyway, so actually I think we're going to go up. They're going to burn from this. We're going to go and find the Colossus, because he's... He's going to be the hardest to fight. I believe he will be up here somewhere. Obviously, I can't see him yet. It's a little bit worrying. Maybe he's um, like on just the water, the top of the water level. Where is he? Oh, he's there. No, oh, okay. Get that, get that, even more chance, we got enemies exploding on kill, we've got the uh, the fire trail that we can leave, it's all good. And the attack speed increase from this, and I'll come back, do some more damage. I don't know if he can actually do enough damage to even hurt me much at this point in the game. Seems like I can heal enough of the damage back before he can do it to me. Especially with the attack speed increase. Okay, oh, and even better, now we've got the uh, hardened armor. So, we, um... We're bad. Bad for them. I don't know if I really want you, but I can always come back and get it at a later point in time. That's uh, attacks fast. Oh, come, come closer. Let me kill you. Come on. There we go. Right, there's eight enemies. So there's six more, and I presume those were the six that were up up here. So. Yeah, there's some, there's a thing there, but it's not worth opening. Okay, he's dead. There's two of them. I've got so much not back. That's the trouble. Right, and there's where are they? Did they go up here? Yeah. That makes it remaining enemies free. Right, and now there's only you left of these two. No, don't um, don't knock yourself off the edge. Come on. Uh, and it's the last free. Okay. I'm not overly sure which is the quickest way, but we can fool and go to Agamil this way, so that seems pretty good to me. We've got enough gold, we must pick you up. Um, we've got enough sh gold for this shrine, and it's just nearby. And even better, we got infected. Cool. Where the character is and where the, like, the stuff evolves, or revolves around, it's slightly off. Like they've the character model that it's like going around is always the same, and the sprites just then overlaid over the top of it, regardless of what character you're playing. Looks like how they've done it. Okay, so we still need to find we need to find the teleporter. The magma guy could spawn there, or he could, but actually no, because there'd be nowhere to fight him. He'd just be so the magma spawner can't spawn over here, but looks of it. Oops. Ok, 
transporn down here. The teleport is not normally down here. But let's just check that before I end up eating my words and we have to come back here later on. No, doesn't seem to be good. Infection is doing its work. We're getting kills before we even properly started. There's nothing over there. That's where we came from. We can't get up there yet. It's not along there. This isn't the low this doesn't have the artifact in. We go up here, here it is. It's in a really weird position, but now of course the question is where is the boss gonna be coming from? And what boss are we getting? Right, yeah, it's over here. Okay. And it's the one that's gonna be down here, yeah. Okay. Well, I can't do anything with it apart from when it's near me, so I can infect it. I can kill you guys that are over here. That shit is quite a lot of damage. So maybe I should move whenever it's about to hit me. That might be an idea, might not. Okay, I've got enough gold for whatever this is. Oh, a war banner. Right, let's maybe we'll put this here. This is a good position. We level up. We're quite far from leveling up, though. So the likelihood of us getting a banner for this fight is pretty low. So I mean, we might do it. It's more likely we're going to kill the boss first. I think my uh, pet robot's going to die first, though. You know who needs to? Oh no, he moved into lava. It's all right. I know we, this. Yeah, we do have the time thing. So if we get to low health for the time thing will stop us dying, in theory. We can just use a couple of our robots when that happens and then get out of whatever the bad situation we're in is. Right. Choose this one nearby. Hit him with that. There's only three enemies left and he's one of them, so you're another one. Okay, and the last one's him, and then something else, I guess. Okay, we're out of healing robots. Oh, let's pick this up just to get some extra damage on him. He is annoying to fight, that is for certain. Okay, we see him coming back, hit him with this. At least he can get infected, so that's something. It's doing some slow damage to him over time. Fortunately, this does a lot of damage to us too. So does his uh, shrapnel ability. I just shouldn't have activated that. Just now it's yeah. Oh, oh nice. Chance to freeze enemy on hit. Not a bad item at all. Right, you are just a shrine, we wanna activate you. Looks like the reskin of the shrine on this level. Okay, you are just over there somewhere. Okay. I don't actually think we can jump that. I think we're gonna have to go all the way around to get this. Because I'm pretty sure that on this character you can't no, you can't jump that. Okay. Well there might be some more stuff we can loot over this way. Pretty sure there was something down there, but that's gonna take us extra time, it's not worth it. We're already gonna be spending a lot of time going up and around. Then up here. Then over here. Then up here. Up here. I've mean, got one enemy left, I know. Go over here. Make this jump. No, oh, we can't get that yet. We need a little bit more gold. And oh, you're only a little. And you even fallen off, so I'm gonna have to go around again. Good job, robot. Thank you for that. Let's 
still actually probably maybe just enough yeah just enough gold to get that okay well let's go round again just use my bot because there's no reason not to might as well speed with this go on over clock mode or whatever it's called speed 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 is key in this game I shouldn't have activated it because he weren't moving Up here, then here, then here, we're nearly there, we're not going to be able to get back if we go over there, so we're going to have to go around anyway, let's see, nope, we can't get that chest, okay, let's see what's going in here, Adam, normally there's loads of chests in here, great. On a character that has a poor jump, why did I decide that coming down here would be a good idea? Oh well. The character, the teleporter won't be in here either. I don't think it's ever in here. So. Great place to level up, not. I think that's where we have to go. Oops. See you later. Bye bye bye. Up here. You, 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 you. Up here. Along here, up here. Okay, let's just exit out of here. There's obviously nothing in here. this to get over here there we go open this okay we know that's the last chest we can get to this ends up being the way that we need to go now now there's a lot of these shrines here but you don't have very much like health on this character health regen so the only way I'm going to be able to unlock the secrets of these is by killing a load of things and then healing myself back up. Wow! My mouse just moved over into uh, the windowed things, so not minimised there I think. Yeah, I think I'm just going to skip it. I'm going to activate one more fountain, which is going to put me dangerously low. Give me nothing. There's two of those hill bots to heal me back up. Then we're going to look for the teleporter. Ah. Oh, we have enough gold to activate this. This is the teleporter. Nice, we run a bit faster. It's always good on this character. I'm going to activate the teleporter because I don't care. And we're going to kill these guys. They're going to. Oh, great. They're going to give us robots. This is one of, ah, I think we're going to die here, yeah, okay, well that's one of my favourite levels from Design Point, and we're at half an hour, that's kind of a good time to stop, maybe even a bit of a lot too long for the video. Well, that was Han D, I'm actually getting quite used to using him and quite liking him, but that is Han D anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, and we there should be more Risk of Rain videos to come, because I love playing Risk of Rain, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye!